What we want to do now is come into the space. Seat, have a seat, um, and ideally if you have a chair without arms, that's okay, but if you have one with arms, um, it'll work as well. You want to sit comfortably in your chair. You don't want to arch your back, you want your spine nice and straight because our energy, our chi flows along our spine. Hang on one sec, I just want to make sure the sound is okay. Someone put in a long comment, hang on. Okay, great, okay, Christine was just saying a thing about that. Okay, from Christine, thanks Christine for that. I did put in a link, um, so I guess the link won't, I put in a share link for the group, but hopefully <laughs> if it doesn't work, follow Christine's directions. Okay, so sorry, let's come back in. Sit comfortably with your feet on the ground. The pelvis is slightly tucked forward and the spine is elongating up. Your head is reaching toward the heavens. Your palms for now are face down on your thighs. Close your eyes briefly. We're gonna take a few deep abdominal breaths here. When you breathe in deeply into the diaphragm, really into the lower lobes of the lungs, that poofs out and that's what causes the ab abdomen, the lower abdomen to expand. And so that's what we wanna do, a nice, slow, deep breath in through the nose. And exhale through the nose. If breathing deeply is a challenge for you right now, just do a soft, gentle breath to come into the space. And if you are doing the long, deep inhales and exhales, start counting how long you can inhale for, and then exhale one count longer. We'll take two more breaths here before we move on. Flutter your eyes open if you had them closed and inhale your arms out to the side and up. Bring the palms together and bring your hands down to heart center. Open one hand with the other in a loose fist to greet it. Gaze at your fingertips. If you are starting your morning, set the intention for vibrancy. Feel the vibrant energy moving through your body. If you are settling in the late afternoon or evening, let go of your day. Let the practice melt your stress into Mother Earth for recycling. Release your hands and bring them to the waist. Keep the shoulders down and relax. Check in with your feet, make sure they're grounded. Really feel energy drawing up from the earth as you inhale. And as you exhale, you can feel this energy releasing down, any stagnant energy going back down into the earth. And let's begin. If you have a hard time with inhale and exhale cues, breathe gently. If you're able to follow my cues, please do so. Inhale and turn your head gently to one side bringing your eyes all the way behind you as far as you can see. Exhale through the nose back to center. Inhale, turning the other direction as far as you are able, looking behind you. Exhale, center. Inhale, lift the chin and gaze up and back.
exhale center and inhale as you tuck the chin and gaze down at your navel exhale center we'll do that whole sequence one more time Just breathe gently a moment and on your next inhale turn your head to the first side gazing all the way behind you exhale center inhale gaze the other direction exhale center and remember when you bring your head back lift your chin don't let the head fall inhale and lift opening on the front of the neck exhale come back to center inhale tuck the chin gaze at your navel exhale center this practice is all about getting rid of joint pain, opening and loosening the joints. It is a similar practice to what some of you did last week because it's such a powerful one and we wanna try and do it at least once a week, if not every day. So the next pose is called opening the bow. Make loose fists with your thumbs just gently on top of the fingers in a very, almost like you can see through your hands. And we're going to go ahead and inhale, open and gaze at the first side, keeping your eyes on your hands. Now open the fingers, all of the fingers are together except the thumb, which is stretched wide. And exhale, come back to center. So you're making an L with your hands there. Loosed fists again, squeeze the shoulder blades together as you inhale, gazing at the other side. Open the hands, bring the palms back to center, keeping your eyes on the hands and release. Inhale, open and turn the head, focusing on your hand. Open the fingers, stretch the thumb. Exhale, back to center. Last one, curl the fingers. Inhale, open and gaze. Lift the fingers, expand the thumb, release the shoulder blades. That's really where the movement starts. And now, with the fingers tight to each other, hands open, thumbs wide. Inhale, reach up as high as you're able. Try and keep the shoulders relaxed down still though. Gaze at the first hand, bring the hands in loose fist and exhale down. Inhale, lift up, gaze between your hands as you inhale. Curl the fingers, exhale, keeping your eyes on the other hand. We're exercising our eyes as much as the rest of our body. This helps our tendons because our eyes are connected to our liver. Inhale up and our liver balances our tendons and joints, keeps them fluid. You're gazing at the first hand on the exhale. Inhale, lift, expand, gaze up. Curl the fingers, exhale, draw down. Release the hands. And we're going to bring the hands in that same position, fingers together, thumbs spread wide, one hand on top of the other. We'll be doing arm circles. Please check in, make sure your spine isn't arching and make sure your feet are nice and grounded still, the head elongating up. We want our chi, our energy and our blood to flow. 
Inhale, lifting the arms overhead, gazing up. Exhale, gaze at the first fingers as you float down. It doesn't matter which hand's on top, it's okay. Um, inhale all the way up if you're able. I'm gonna show a modification. You can just bring your hands here if that's all you're able to do right now. Modify for your body, okay? So hopefully you've exhaled the hands down. And let's go to the first side again. Inhale up. Exhale, gaze at the first hand. The hands come back through center, a little bit leaning. You lean forward just a little. Because we're seated, we need, need to get past our knees. And exhale, floating down. Let's do one more since I had that modification I showed. Inhale, lift up, reach up. Really feel that expansion in the abdomen and the ribs. Last one. Good. We've worked our neck, we've worked our wrist, our fingers, our shoulders, and we're gonna keep with that. This particular pose, spreading the wings, is a very, very long inhale. If you're not able to do that, please, that gentle breath, and think about initiating all of the movements from the shoulder blades as we press back, we're squeezing the shoulder blades back, and as we come forward, we separate the shoulder blades out. Modifications are just to keep the movement small. The full posture is like this, so let's begin. Hands hang down by your sides. If you have arms on your chair, the hands will just be outside of the arms. Check your alignment and inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades together as the elbows come back and you turn your head. Lifting the elbows up, this is all the inhale. Now point the fingers up and exhale all the way down. Inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades back. Bring the elbows up as you separate the shoulder blades. And then exhale, fingers together, thumbs extended, floating down. Back to the first side. Inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades. And now release and separate. Bring the elbows forward. This is amazing for the rotator cuff, for the elbows, the neck. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. For side bends, um, we're going to be bringing one hand to the back, um, to our back, and you're going to have the back of the palm on the lower back here. The elbow will be out, keeping the same posture of the hand. This really energizes the meridians in the hand, letting energy and blood flow to heal. The other hand in the same position is going to come up and touch the very knobby top part of your spine at the base of the neck. Now, if you are unable to bring the hand up and back, you can go ahead and bring one hand to the shoulder and one hand to the hip, and you'll just fold like so, okay? And even if that's too much, bring your hand down by your side on the outside of the chair and fold like so, all right? For the full posture, bring one hand to your lower back. Bring the other hand up and over. 
Really feel an expansion along the ribs. Reach up, don't arch your back. Remember, tuck your pelvis slightly. And inhale to the side, gazing at the floor. Feel the stretch under the arms, opening the lymph glands, letting them release because we're moving. Exhale, center. Release the upper hand, bring it to the back and bring the hand that was on the back, uh, lower back up to the neck, behind at the base of the neck, top of the spine. Inhale, fold. Gazing at the floor. Exhale, center. Release. Switching the hands one more time. Just a gentle breath when you switch the hands. And now we'll inhale as we bend gently keeping your gaze on the floor. Try not to lean forward or back, just go to the side. Exhale, back to center. Switch the hands. And fold. Come back to center and release. If you have a chair without arms, it's ideal now because we're going to be doing some um, pressing, or actually sorry, we're going to do some um, posture, sorry, where we need to reach down. So come a little bit to the edge of your chair and we're going to do what's called one arm pillar. For this, bring your hands in the same position. We want to really be working those joints there. It also keeps the meridians flowing. Palms facing up in front of you. And of course, if it's hard, keep your hands soft. I don't mean to say it's a, there's a right way and a wrong way. There's an ideal way and everything else is also wonderful because you're moving. So bring your palms face up in front of you. We're going to go ahead and inhale to chest height and continue the inhale as one hand presses to the ceiling and the other to the floor. If you're in bed and not able to get that lower reach, just come to your hip, that's okay. And exhale, bring the hands to chest height at center. And as they meet each other, Turn the other thumb forward, hand up, and inhale, press up and away. Exhale, float the hands back to center. At chest height, switch the hand reaching up, bringing the palm to the ceiling. Exhale, center. We're going to do a couple of more of these. Remember, if you're starting your day, you're energizing with the inhale, drawing in energy. And if you're releasing your day when you exhale, let any stagnant energy flow out your feet and your lower palm. See that stale energy flow into the earth. Exhaling, center. Inhale, press and reach. Exhale, both hands back to center at the heart. Palms face down and exhale down to the ground. Good. Now, if we were standing, we would be doing hip circles right now. So we're just gonna do some padding and then we'll do some shifting to bring blood flow to our hips. So with loose fist, thumbs on the outside finger, just gently pat up and down your thighs, on your hips. Come in front here, patting on the hips. Come in the back part of the pelvis. We're just gonna try and generate flow and energy, which is what we do when we make hip circles standing. 
I do have a standing class um, in the group, the Healing with Qigong group. I did post a class schedule, so. And now, ooh, hopefully you can feel the buzzing and tingling in your hips and your hands. Just tune into that for a moment. It's so powerful. We're gonna just shift side to side. If you're in bed, place your palms flat. If you're seated, you can hold onto your chair. And just let's get a little massage on the sits bones and get everything just moving. Again, we're trying to break up stagnant energy, stagnant blood, two main sources of disease, illness, and joint pain. So it's really, really helpful. All right, and now bring your hips forward and back. Now, if you're able, this is where we're going to turn um, so we can turn forward and back so the back of your chair isn't in your way. If you're in bed or you don't, you have kind of like, a, you can't sit on the side of your chair, you'll just keep one hand at the hip bone as you rotate and come forward, okay? Um, others will be reaching back with the back hand. This is perfectly fine to just keep that um, hand at the hip. That is not a problem. For the posture, fingers together, thumbs in a nice strong L shape. Bring both hands, and for the first part, into loose hips. Check your feet, hip width apart, flat on the floor, drawing in energy from the earth. Spine is elongated, the tailbone slightly tucked, and the head reaching to the heavens. Hands in loose fists, reach forward with one hand and reach back, gazing at the back elbow as you look back. Keep your gaze on the elbow as you come forward till you can't see it anymore and then switch. So we inhale as we twist back and look back. Exhale, curl the fingers, come back to start. Gently inhale, open and reach. Exhale, curl, come back to start. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Now we're going to do a forward fold. <clears throat> uh, again, this, you know, modifications. You can keep your legs bent. Um, if you're able, you can sit right on the edge of your chair, legs extended in front of you. Um, and you don't have to reach all the way up. You can just literally, if you can't move your arms, you could just do a little arm circle and then fold. The goal is to feel Elong, elongation, right? We don't want to feel a strain or pain. We want to feel this opening in our joints and our ligaments and our muscles. So it's very gentle. So if you're able to do the full posture, you can bring your legs forward. Your hands are overlapping like they did when we did arm circles. And we're going to inhale up like so. Swan dive, bring your hands to the side, folding at the hips, really fold at the hips, and then lastly, curl in, hands on your feet. Overlap your hands again. We're inhaling all the way up. Exhale, fold at the hips and then release the back and head. We'll do two more. Inhale, gently lift up, reach up, create space in your abdomen and ribs. Hands to the side and fold forward. A 
Last one. Inhale, reach all the way. And now exhale, hips, back, head. And just hang for a moment. Release any tension and just breathe naturally. Gently come back up to seated. Close your eyes a moment and go within. Just tune in to any opening you've created. If there's any tension somewhere, just breathe into that for a moment. In the traditional pose, um, standing movement, we would do bow stance, reaching forward in bow stance. Um, but we're actually going to do um, opening the bow to shoot an arrow. So for that, um, you can face forward like you are. I'm just going to turn to the side for you to see. You're going to bring the hand that's in front in that L shape, but tuck the three fingers, so the index finger and thumb are extended, the others are curled in. And then the other hand drawing back is in that loose fist. You should, again, be able to see a little hole through it. So we're going to go ahead and we start with our hands at our waist. We inhale up. The front hand reaches forward while the back hand pulls back. Our gaze, we imagine that we can see, so sorry, it's like this. You're forward, and your feet can be together, or hip width apart, and you're opening across the shoulders, squeezing the shoulder blades behind you, the head is turned over, and breathing gently, you just gaze as far as you can imagine seeing off onto the horizon. Come back to center, both hands in loose fists. And now we're going to bring the hands up and go to the other side. Opening across the chest, squeezing the shoulder blades, keeping the shoulders down. The other hand is in the arrow position, gazing off into the distance as you breathe gently. Curl the fingers, come back to center. And let's go to the first side again. Opening, gazing into the distance. Breathing gently, don't hold your breath. It's very important. Chi, air chi, is one of the most powerful healers in the universe. So breathing will do more to heal your body than almost anything. And one more time, coming to the other side. Really cast your imagination far away, drawing in chi energy from as far as you can see. This time, bring the hands to heart center, palms facing down, and exhale down. Now we're going to do one more forward fold, bringing the legs out if you're able. You're going to interlace your fingers, including the thumbs, so gentle, don't grip, soft, gentle. The same modifications apply, reach as high as you're able, if you can't intertwine, you can touch your fingertips, all right? And just fold where you're able. Maybe you even need to support your fold. You can only go so far. But if you're able, bring the legs just hip width apart. It doesn't have to be exact, just a little space. Interlace the fingers in front of you. Inhale all the way up at chest height. Rotate the thumbs forward and the palms reach to the ceiling. Really expand 
Try and keep the shoulders down. Exhale, fold forward, fold at the hips, and then let the back and head go. Release the hands and inhale, drawing your fingertips up the inside of your shins and thighs and release, exhale. A lot of important yin meridian points run along the legs for the liver, the kidneys, the spleen. Very healing to massage. Inhale, lift up, gaze up. Exhale, fold at the hips, the back, the head. Hang heavy as you, nice exhale. Inhale, slide your hands up the insides of your legs. Exhale, settle. We'll do two more folds. Interlace the hands. Inhale. Lifting up, gaze up, really feel the opening. Exhale, folding at the hips, the back, the head. On your exhale. Inhale, gently slide up the inside of your legs. Exhale, settle. And one more, double hands reaching down. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sliding up your legs. Exhale, settle. At this time, we would normally do knee circles where we would massage, I mean, go around and massage internally, moving our knees. What we're gonna do is a Qigong massage where we come to the inside of our legs first, um, the fingers are all together, and we massage down and around, out and up. Not directly on top of the knee, but really reaching all around. This will stimulate blood flow to the knees this is also great for the kidneys. If you have knee pain, you um, might have a kidney problem, right? That is a huge, if you didn't have an acute injury, knee pain is often from weakening kidneys. And so when we massage our knees, we help our knees and we help our kidney functioning. Breathe softly as you massage. Feel the warmth you're generating. This is also great for your heart because the inner palms have a point called pericardium eight, the Lao Gong point. The pericardium is the sac around the heart and in Chinese medicine, this protects the heart's emotions. It gives us resilience in the face of all the emotions bouncing around in our hearts and minds. We're able to learn the lessons we need from them and then let go. We'll do a few more. Last one. Good. Now we're going to be doing standing, holding on to the back of the chair for the next few exercises. As you um, are able to build your strength coming off whatever has brought you to your bed or to your chair, I just want to give a little opportunity to nudge the healing for those of you that are able to begin some standing while holding on. Some modifications for the chair, I'll give you those first. We're going to be um, standing and leaning to the left and then leaning to the right. So in the chair, you can do just that, hands right at the top of the thighs, and you'll just lean, all right? We're going to shift the weight in our legs as well when we're standing, but you can shift the weight in your hip. 
So put more weight on one hip as you lean and then come back to center and so on. When we work on a little bit of a knee squat, please, if you're able, pull your knee in, okay? You can pull one knee in and then the other knee in, massaging, moving blood and stimulating the meridians along your knees, strengthening your kidneys, and uh, so many uh, meridian points flow past the knees, so it's really good for you. And then um, when we do balancing, you'll also see some leg lifting. Um, for your balance, if you can do the arm raises that we do and hold your legs, those will be the modifications for you. You can also press weight on the foot where we're standing, feel a little extra weight in that foot, okay? If you're able to stand, please hold on to your chair to keep safe. You can stand behind your chair. I'll be standing to the side so you can see me. But to be safe, you can have both hands on the back of your chair or on a counter. If you're near a counter, that's also great. All right, we're going to go ahead and begin by shifting our weight to one leg. So start with your feet together and then step out to wider than shoulder width apart, toes pointing forward. Have one hand on your hips, one, um, one hand on the chair if you're able, otherwise both hands will be on the chair. Bend one knee and shift and lean to that side. Really feel an opening on the other side. Feel nice, good weight. Feel the tension in your legs. Breathe gently as we do this. Now, with the opposite foot, pull from the inside of that foot to come back to center. All right, this is great to begin rebuilding the strength and balance in your legs. Bend the other knee forward, straightening the other leg. Lean into that side. Breathe softly, feel this expansion. Remember, if you're seated, you're still expanding your torso. Now with that foot, draw back to center. One more time, each side bend, lean, Breathe, draw back to center, and now bend the other knee forward, lean, good, and draw in with that opposite foot back to center. Um, we would normally do a very deep knee squat. We're gonna do a very gentle squat. Feet are hip width apart. If you are able, you can bring your feet together, but I'll model it with the feet apart. Bend your knees, sliding a free hand down, or if you have no hand there on the chair, just bend your knees and really press your hips back like you're sitting in a chair. Gently come up. Straighten, tuck the pelvis forward a moment. And remember, if you're seated, you're pulling your knees up, okay? And sliding the hand down if you're able, otherwise just bringing the bum back, feeling that good energizing of the knees, and come up. Beautiful. Our final posture that we'll do before we close our breath is a balancing posture. Start with your feet together Step, um, so pause, sorry about that. Um, you will need to be on the outside of your chair, holding on with one hand. If you're not able to do that, it is better to sit down and do the leg lifts that I showed, or if you just wanna stand in the back, you can do it without the step and just um, imagine I'm behind my chair, just gently lift one toe, right? Just balance on one toe and then you'll balance on the other toe. So those are some modifications you can do. If you are able to hold on with one hand, step forward with the leg closest to the chair and raise the outside arm and leg. Just stand here, 
Really try and keep your grip loose on the chair because we want to work on that balance, the wobbling of the ankle, the movement of all the kinesthetic sensor, sensory neurons just sending communication to your brain. Just breathe gently, step back as the hand comes down and bring your feet side by side. Good. Come to the other side of your chair, holding on. Step forward with the leg closest to the chair as you raise the outside hand and knee. Hold. Step back, lower the hand, bring the feet side by side. Come to the first side. Good. Okay. Step forward with that inside leg, raise the outside arm and leg. And if you are able, feeling good and strong, raise the knee a little higher. Release the hand and leg, step back and down. Come to the second side. Doing beautifully, you guys. Wherever you are with this, it's going to build the muscles needed for standing and balance. So important. Step forward with the inside leg as you bring the outside leg and arm up. Hold and bring that knee higher if you're able. Release the foot and hand, stepping back and feet together. Wow, <laughs> great job. I hope you feel that you felt a good tuning into your body wherever you were, what your muscles, your bones, your tendons were doing. That, that's not easy, so very well done. Wow, we're going to close our practice with some centering. Bring both hands, palms up with that beautiful, strong position. But again, it's relaxed. It's not, it's nice and strong, but not tense. And we're going to inhale one hand up and all the way overhead, keeping your gaze on that hand. Exhale, draw it through center. Inhale, raise the hand, lift up the other hand. Exhale, draw it down. We're going to end with just this beautiful rhythmic flow, centering our chi, our energy. Again, if you're starting your day, draw in vibrant, vital energy. Give a big, huge smile to activate all of that energy. If you're winding down for your day, give a very coy smile, just a little, little smile. Giving your body a little hug for all the good work it did for you during the day. Your body is your partner, not your enemy. Even if you feel weak and debilitated right now, your body is still trying to help you. Every time you do Qigong, meditation, yoga, your body knows, all right, you love me, we can do this. What a gift. And your body will respond. It will. Bring both hands to this lower dantian behind and below the navel. Close your eyes and just take a couple of final deep abdom abdominal breaths. Thank 
you for being here today.